Michael Untergugenberger, a train conductor from a small Austrian town called Warlg, reads Silvio Gessel's economic treatise, Natural Order. Silvio's treatise says that if the economic system stays the same, the entire global economy will collapse due to the inappropriate value of money. have stopped. This is Michael. He's not a train conductor anymore. He's the mayor of a world facing the big depression of 29. Looking at an abandoned garment factory, thinking about the 50% unemployment in his city and the global statistic of the big depression, he has an idea. He reopens the municipal printing shop and he prints a new currency, the shillings. This local currency is based on Silvio Gessel's theory and loses its value every month. Nobody wants to keep money. They only want to spend it. Endlich. Das ist die In less than one year, Employment makes a full comeback. Everybody is happy in world. The economy jumps back, and this little town becomes a light in the middle of a crisis. Money is in people's hands, not in the hands of banks and financial institutions. There's a flourish of social life. Even the movie theaters are full. There is laughter, love in every corner, and a certain happiness based on a sound value of money. In just a few months, highways are built, a bridge, and the city is restored. This local currency instituted by Michael is circulated 14 times more than the one before. 200 cities around want to put into practice the very same system. Even the French Prime Minister travels from afar to see what everyone calls the miracle of world. Of course, this miracle was inconvenient for those who work trading money. The Austrian Central Bank turns to the Supreme Court to condemn the shilling as a crime against the national currency. The shilling is forbidden. Unemployment returns to 30%. The entire city returns to the old times of depression. Factories close. There is no money in people's hands. Just in the banks. Monetary control was in the hands of just a few. Oh boy. The old films always repeat themselves.